Hello, my darlings. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am C and this is CJ DIY. Today, I got an amazing video for you full of King and Queen Bee collection. And I cannot wait to show you how I made all these beautiful things. This project is so easy. Anybody can do it. Oval embroidery ring purchased from Michael fabric from Dollar Tree and I think this fabric is just perfect for my team. I want to make sure the lines are straight from the fabric before I wrap the frame around the second oval ring. So I'm going around the fabric with the frame on top and on the bottom and just moving the fabric before I cut it off. And like I said, I want to make sure all the lines are straight. Now when everything is set, I'm just cutting off the extra material and voila, look how beautiful. I'm going to be using the new collection of redesigned Prima transfers. And I think the Queen Bee is going to be just the perfect transfer for this ring. I'm going with a scraper or a squeegee on the bottom of the material to make it easier. I just add a hard surface. So make sure that all that transfer is going nice and smoothly. And that's it for now. Today, my video is part of amazing challenge and I cannot wait to tell you what is it all about. And everybody needs to make a wreath and be DIYs and today I decide my theme to be a French country be designs now when my transfer is on I'm just making a simple bowl with this Dollar Tree burlap and also my French print material that I, if you watch my channel I've been using it a lot I use my zigzag scissors for the French print cut off ribbon and I'm just making a four loop mini bowls and I'm gonna put it on top of the burlap bow super simple I just want to make sure how it's gonna look but I think that four smaller loop bow it's gonna look just perfect for my print I'm tying it with a twine on the back and now with the same French print with my zigzag scissors. I'm cutting off the tails and I'm gonna add it on my bow and super simple and cute decor. What do you think? Also, I'm using my wax. I'm melting a wax and I'm gonna use this gold wax to melt and we're gonna make a nice stamp. Just going over with a toothpick make sure all the wax is melted before i apply the stamp on and look at this beautiful golden color i'm just putting it on a sheet and here is the stamp and look at this beautiful design just perfect for my sign also again with my zigzag scissors i'm cutting off the edges of my stamp and now this stamp is gonna go on my sign. I'm just gonna glue it on the side and that's it. Today I'm super excited that I'm a part of Unbeatable DIY Challenge hosted by myself and my two darling friends, Christine and Jackie. Christine from DIY Craftaholic and Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World. I just love these ladies. We are such a good friends and I cannot wait to watch their videos along. We're going to have amazing playlist with all amazing talented creators, all of them my darling friends and all the links from the playlist and Jackie's and Christine channel are in my description box. Also, the playlist is pinned in my comments 
and please show them lots of love to all those beautiful ladies in the playlist and Jackie and Christine is gonna be a lot of inspirations I promise you I found this sign last year after Easter on 90% and it only cost me a few cents and I'm gonna remake it on the frame I'm adding half beads but before I make the damage and add the glue I just want to add the beads and see how they're gonna fit together today i'm showing you how to create a very high-end look if you go to kirkland's or if you go to any high-end stores you can find signs like this for a very high prices and ours is gonna cost us a couple of dollars so i'm gonna show you and i hope i inspired you for you to make something beautiful like this and if you do you can always pin me and I would love to share it with everybody. Now that I add all those beads, I'm going to glue them with a wood glue. And then we're going to go with the next step. I'm using one of those folk art paints to cover all that print from this sign. And I give it a good three coats. After all that is dry, my distressing brush, I'm using the same paint around the beads and the frame and going over and get the vintage look and also make the beads matching with the whole sign together. I'm also adding a gloss for protection around the frame using the same brush that I use for distressing and then with a towel I'm going over and then with this seal I got my wood protected from the paint as well. I'm using this fabric and I'm just ripping off just enough part to cover the inside of my sign. After that is done, I'm just going to go around the frame and see how it's going to fit before I apply the glue on that. And for this fabric, I'm going to be using a fabric glue. I'm applying the fabric glue inside of the sign with the brush. And after that, I'm going to be adding the fabric. I'm going around the edges with my fingers. First, I'm going on the top and then I'm using X-Acto knife because that round shape is a little bit funky. I want to make sure that I cut off just enough material to fit inside of my sign. Now the same thing, I'm just going around the other edge, round edge. And I'm just cutting it off and with the fingers, I'm just going and smoothing the fabric and cutting it off with my X-Acto knife again. This linen material, it's purchased from Joann's, but you can always find one of those linen bags from Dollar Tree to use it. And it's gonna be just perfect as this one, not a difference. Now, when I got the fabric on, I'm gonna be adding this thin line of tape because we wanna add some paint on them. I'm also adding the cream tape around it's so hard to see because that cream tape is the same color as the fabric i should have get a different color of tape so you guys can see more better and also adding another thin line of those tape and now when i cover it with a cream tape around i'm gonna paint that thin line that i made with the black paint and a brush going over until the both lanes on each side are all painted with the black lines.
now that my paint is covered, my line is covered, I'm removing the tapes and we got a nice straight lines. But never enough, right? First, I was ready to add one of those transfers again. I'm going and see which one is going to look the best. And I decide with one of those queen bee and the wreath around. So I'm just going to cut it off, the large bee. I'm also going to use the queen and king and queens. And we're going to add some crown as well on top of it. All those transfers, there is a link in my description box if you like to purchase them. And now when I got all the transfers ready, I'm also covering the lines that I made and I'm going to make another thicker line inside of those lanes. I'm also adding a smaller line from the thin tape and adding another small line. And this is going to be my second line and I'm doing the same thing on the other side as well and covering the straight line that we made and we're going to paint what we need. That makes sense. It's super easy to make those lines. You just want to make sure to follow the pattern with those tapes and you can make a nice beautiful lines. I'm using the same black paint to cover the whole lines on each side now when the paint is ready i'm removing the tapes and now we got two beautiful lines on each side of our frame and look how beautiful it came out now when my lines are dry i'm adding my transfers on with my squeegee and we have a very high-end look sign and i am really loving this with the shape of this frame and this beautiful transfer just a beautiful boutique gorgeous look now it's time for us to make some wreath since I couldn't find that bee wreath from Dollar Tree and Tammy, my darling friend from Happiness Created, she offered me to send me, but proud me, I said, no, Tammy, I'm good, don't worry. I was hoping that I'm gonna find it myself, but I didn't find it. So my other option was using those beaded wreaths from Dollar Tree and for the head of my bee, I'm using one of those Christmas ornaments. So I'm trying to make it in a shape of a bee I'm using the black wreath as the wings and then the wooden bee as the body and the mini ornament for the head for my bee. I want to tie them with this black wire that I got from Dollar Tree from the garden section. And before that, before we tie them all with the wire and connect them all together, I want to use the same French fabric that I've been using for so many crafts. I'm going to cover them with all that fabric. I'm going to glue the material on the bottom of the beads. And we're going to cut off the material after we glue it all. I am in love with French design. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm a lover of a French country. That vintage, beautiful vibe look. I think it's such a romantic, unique look. And I would love to make everything like this i didn't want it to make that regular yellow bee because i have a beautiful video full of bee collection that i made last year and i'm gonna link it in my description box if you want to see all my other bees videos if you're interested if you like to see more inspirations and this time i just wanted to go with that neutral vintage french look now, when I got all the materials together, cut it off, now I'm going to connect my bead together. The wings, I'm going to glue them. The head, I'm going to add that black wire. And I'm going to cut it off when it's all 
tight together just like that and the wings i'm gonna add the hot glue on the bottom of it just to connect them together and when all that is done now it's time for a beautiful shabby chic french look bows i want to see all those ribbons how they're going to look together i got all those beautiful ribbons from joanne's burlap you can find burlap ribbons like this from dollar tree and i'm i cannot make like a large bowl because i try and it didn't work so i'm just making a couple of loops of each of those ribbons and we're gonna tie them around the neck of our bee super simple bows and i love that lace combination with the burlap and that fresh design i think it looks so beautiful i'm also adding a small shoelace bow that ribbon that cream ribbon is from dollar tree and when i made all those bows i tied them together with a twine and now i'm tying them on my bee and i think it will already look super cute and in the middle i'm also gonna add a pearl fall pearl one of those dollar tree pearls and i think it looks beautiful for the antennas for my bees to match the colors i'm adding this wired rope and to make it in the shape of antenna i just use uh, one of my brushes to make that round shape and now i'm gonna glue them on the back of the head of my bee to make it more sturdy i'm gonna add a paper just to keep them together so they don't fall apart just adding a glue like that and on the bottom of the antennas for extra detail i'm just adding one of those small wooden beads and i think it looks super super cute i think i did a good job even without having that bee wire read from dollar tree what do you think give me your thoughts now i made this read last year but i'm gonna show you how i made it you know if you're watching my channel you know that i love to make reads with the shelf liners so i'm just using this wire reed from dollar tree round shape and i'm using black and cream shelf liners i'm cutting them on half since this reed have like a six portions each portion is gonna go with this shelf liners i'm using two middle wire lanes for the wreath and i'm going through with the first cream shelf liner and if you see i'm just going through the lines and make sure that both of the sides of my shelf liners are equal and i'm just gonna create like a ruffle i'm gonna go through the line until the whole lane is full and then I'm gonna cut it off when the wire lane finish and then we're gonna continue on the next lane if that makes sense it's super simple and easy I didn't need it to use any ribbons and only for a couple of dollars you're gonna see we're gonna make a nice beautiful shabby chic look and it lasts forever trust me I made so many of them and they're all still here and beautiful to decorate our house throughout the seasons now for the second wire ring we're gonna add the black line since we're creating a pattern i'm going cream black and then on the other lane of the wire we're gonna do black and cream until the whole wreath is covered now when i got the first wire border done i'm going to the second wire border 
the same thing I did for the first one and that's how I'm gonna cover the whole six borders on my wreath and as you can see I'm just making a pattern where it's black shelf liner next to it i'm adding cream when it's cream i'm adding a black liners that's how it came so far and we are almost done and this is the back of it and i finished the last liner and here you go now i'm adding my b read that I made on top of it I'm gonna add a twine to tie it together and that's it for my read you gotta let me know what do you think if you like it it's unusual it's unique it's very cheap it's done with Dollar Tree items and it looks very very French country look For this DIY, I'm using Trash to Treasure. I'm using one of my large jars. I'm gonna wrap around one of those ribbons that I got on the edges with my zigzag scissors. I'm just making a nice frame. I love making these zigzag designs. I purchased these scissors from Michael's with the coupons and everything because it's very expensive but I wanted to have one of those so I can make beautiful decorations so I'm gonna wrap it around my jar in the middle also I'm adding a lace ribbon I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use I think this ribbon is gonna look just perfect I'm cutting it off and I'm just gonna glue it in the middle of my jar simple as that but very high-end look I'm going to add one of those B cutouts from Dollar Tree. In the middle, I'm just adding a twine so I can tie it together. And I'm just going to make a simple shoelace bow with that twine. And I think it looks perfect, this beautiful B cutout from Dollar Tree. Adding all these ribbons together with the B and the twine, I think it looks just perfect. For this jar very high end also I'm gonna be adding three beads on one twine and four beads on the other twine and I'm gonna make one to be larger and the other one longer so we can make just a simple design and I'm gonna tie it on the edges and that's it super simple and easy DIY from trash to treasure now I want to see which of those flowers I'm going to be adding. I'm adding these beautiful tulips that I got from Michaels. They're like dollar something for a one branch. To add extra embellishment to my vase, to my jar, I'm also adding this hexagon wooden cutout stick from Dollar Tree and adding another B cutout. Also, I'm just distressing the edges with a vintage antique wax and with my brush I'm going over to get the distressing look and add it on top of the tulips and look how beautiful it all came out for the next DIY I'm gonna be using this wooden sign that I got from Joanne's and I only paid three dollars for it I remove the tag and now I want to see which of those handles I'm gonna be adding and we're gonna create a beautiful tray why not instead of a sign we're gonna have a simple beautiful high-end look tray and look at those beautiful design around the edges just 
screaming to make them as a tray. I just mark with my marker where I'm gonna add my handles. I got those handles from my local store this summer for like few cents and I got a lot of them and I, I've been using them a lot and I love them. Now I'm just going to drill a hole where we're going to add those bolts and make it nice and sturdy. Super simple and easy. I'm adding the bolts. Make sure they fit through that holes. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. To speed up with the bolts, I also use my gun so I can add the handles. Very simple and very easy. I did the same thing on the other side. And I think this tray looks so beautiful. We also gonna add some one of those the Prima transfers on and it looks so, so cute. You're gonna see it when it's all done. I choose this beautiful homemade transfer with these roses on the side, just a perfect decoration to match with my French decor today, using the squeegee, you know, simple. The best thing with this transfer is you can add transfer next to the transfer, doesn't need to match like they came on the pages, you can mix and match as much as you like and whatever you like them to make. And this time I decided to put those roses next to this beautiful homemade decor. And I think it looks super, super cute. I'm also adding the wax, clear wax to protect it, to protect my tray. And you can use this tray for a tea, coffee, decorative piece, whatever you like. And we came to the last DIY for today. I hope you enjoy every piece that I made today because I really, really love and enjoy each and every one of them. You know, when we were kids and we were, we were going to school, we were covering our books with the papers. Now I'm gonna cover my books with material. Lots of creators are doing that. I saw it. I think the lady, the Australian lady, provincial, girl i think that's her channel she's she done that and i did those when i was watching her i'm like oh my god she did the same thing that i did <laughs> and i already finished those so i gotta give her a credit also sammy i mean lots of creators are doing this covering the books with the material so i'm just gonna do the same thing when i was doing when i was going at school and covering them I'm just adding a tape inside, cutting off the edges. And on top, I'm just making like a triangle shape and just glue it. And now for the second book, I just use my burlap material, covering it off, just adding a tape. And we can always remove this tape and leave the books like they are. I didn't want it to damage them. And for the third one, I just used the linen material. And now to put them all together, I'm just gonna add a lace ribbon. I'm gonna add them together. I'm gonna tie them. And we're gonna have a nice French look for those book stack. I'm cutting the edges of my lace with that zigzag scissors again. And on top, I'm gonna be making a large bow just a simple shoelace bow with this beautiful large lace ribbon. And I'm just gonna add it just like that. And on top, I'm gonna be adding this bee garland that I got from Michaels. And I'm gonna glue that black bee from Dollar Tree just for extra embellishment. And that's it, my book stack is ready. And look how beautiful it looks. I hope I gave you tons and tons of inspiration today. Tell me which one of those creations you like the best. Tell me if you like to recreate some of them. And before I let you go to watch the final reveal, 
on some of the final reveals you're gonna see some of my last year bee decoration and if you're interested for those to see how i made them the links for those videos are in my description box and before i let you go to see all those beautiful final reveal that i recorded today don't forget to check out the amazing playlist my amazing darling friends in all these playlists all of them from top to bottom i love them all and jackie and christine i love you my ladies i hope we can repeat this again and my darlings until next time i'm sending you lots of love lots of music positive energy from me to you blessings bye bye